Yeah. Once again, you are watching S the Kids, the B eight is my name is something and call me SKB Records. Yes, we first spoke with ZK, one of the finest gospel bloggers in Ghana right now, and I have another one, senior man Papa Clem. But Clem said me, I'm used to know Clem to me. I don't ask him. Why why did you make that statement as well? We are outside. <laughs> <laughs> Vaclav is here at Mega Praise 2021. He's also one of the finest MDs in Kumase. You can you can reach out to him. He's also a gospel blogger. Pa, oko Instagram. Obo Clement Afre. Big time. He did there. But so all the finest girls, all the finest women, all the finest doctors, actresses in Ghana. Link up with him. for online. Link up with him, Clement Afre, in case we need someone. And also ushering business. Yes. Tell us about that business. So the ushering business is an ushering and protocol business. As you know, there are a lot of events. You will need people to handle the ushering for you whilst you uh, handle your guests. We are there for you, CBC Inc. Ashes. We are into any event, social or corporate. Yeah, you need anybody to handle your protocol. You need anybody to handle your ushering. We are there, CBC INC Ashes on all social media platforms you see us there. Social media platform. Papa Clem, can we come here? So that I can use the Mega Praise, Mega Praise 2021. Yes, is this, um, tell us how long have you been um, with Jojo Ahin? I know you've been working with him. Uh, I would say four years now. Yes, four years now. Yeah. So tell us, being a music director, some of the challenges that you go through. Well, as a music director, the number one thing every music director faces is. Um, commitment of his choristers so if you have a team that is very committed I would say like 90% of your worries are over because you have a lot of time to work with them to improve to make them improve I mean you can tell who has a specific issue and you are able to address it because they are very committed you always have them so you are able to work with them anytime and I'll say another thing is that um, we have a lot of choristers who have different views as to why they are part of the, the choir. Okay, everybody has their personal reasons for joining. Some people come like, okay, once I'm part of this choir, to give me a stepping stone to somewhere, I'll be recognized and an artist, I'll get to back an artist and stuff like that. So if you don't, if you don't have choristers who have the same mind as the vision bearers, as the music director, or as the president or the founder of the ministry, you would have a lot of issues. So your, minist your ministry is dependent on the choristers. Without the choristers, you do not have a ministry. So if your choristers can have the same vision as you and work with you, you would grow steadily, you would grow, and you find out that your choir is always improving steadily. Yes, yeah, so those are the two major things I will say are the issues every MD faces. One the commitment level and number two the choristers sharing the same vision as the MD or as the leader or the vision bearer of that car yeah you are also one of the gospel guests well known in Kumase and in Accra as well I like every time you have the finest ladies on your on your page <laughs> finest ladies on your page what what's your relationship with them okay so I've been a music director for many years. Okay, so I've been in the music circle for a long time. Just take a choir. A choir, you have sopranos, you have altos. They are, so, they are ladies. So by default, in every choir, you know more ladies than guys as a music director. And I, in, on campus, when I was in Cairn University campus, I was the MD for, okay, I won't say I was the MD. I helped as stand in MD for AGCM choir. I was the instrumentalist head, but most of the time my, my director would go and handle the band and I will go and handle the choir. Yeah, so AGCM choir, that's Living Praise Choir. I was also in Gospel Explosion. I was also in Mass Choir. Okay, and then in my home church, also I'm MD. And I've never missed intellectual. I think I was only, I missed intellectual two times. Yes, because of work. That's after I was an, uh, after I graduated from school. But from the from my first year till date, I've never missed intellectual. And by yeah. God's grace, any time the alumni were supposed to minister, I was the MD, the MD of the alumni. 
So by default, I got to know a lot of ministers who were now not yet ministers at that time, growing up. So now that they have become ministers, I already knew them from way back then. Okay, so, so the connection is already there. So by default, I already know them. And some of them introduce me to others. They say, oh, you know this person? Oh, who is that? Oh, MM did that. That kind of a thing. So by default, you get to meet other people. And I'm someone who is open and friendly. So anybody can just come and out. We'll be friends today. I mean... The Dean, the Apostle for Kofi Ejikum, for J Enterprise. Yejuma ba kone se, o manfua etu bata, etete amanone, a omu nyanko fo, ensho omu echi. In terms of se, infrastructure sa omu aye, a omu di sike pudyo, e wum, then so busyan, a sorry, politicians, e nanfuo, e di wu yamo, e no ana po J Enterprise, abba. Se yabo tayene siye di nukredie ene pepepe yebe sumwa watina buchila che. Na mwabu tayibi se mwabu ye infrastructures e ufieno yebe tima shwe chidi e de amamo. Yedi ye numbers e bu screen yasi. Fa numbers no nefre ufra ye no ube ye nshishe pa. Wede u property e maya yebe shwe chidi ni yambi kisho se. To the finishing ube nye perfect job at a very moderate price, sir. Oh, hon chero. Oh, po fesi ehwe e chile di ma renting. Se be ya, ube ti menye si ke pudu ya tu e chile di a maintain u property ya. You can have it. And then it will give you the joy and happiness you can ever have. Po J Enterprise, call and work with us and we will give you the best. And I, I try as much as possible to support ladies because as ladies do not have support, genuine support in this generation, people always expect something from them in return for giving them services. But I decided that, oh, let me just be there for them. In 2003, I started a ladies' ministry, which was on the low. But all those people saw me as their father in the Lord. So they'll call you daddy, daddy, daddy. 20? 30. 2003. So it has started there. It was under wraps. After a while, I started traveling worship ministry, which is an all female ministry where we have the instrumentalists are ladies, the singers are ladies, photographer is a lady, the projection is a lady. Um, so they are, they are not all, they are all not based in Kumasi, but other regions. Yeah, so they are all over Ghana. We have some in Sunyani, some in Takradi, some in Accra, some in Tema. Yeah, so I put them all together and we formed Traveling Worship Ministry. Then besides that, I had a women empowerment movement which is called Sister Stock Global, which I started. So currently on Telegram we are over 700 ladies. So by default, to be like, oh, he knows a lot of ladies, but there's a reason why that happens. Yes. People, are, those who are watching, those who want to find out the truth today, I've invited Papa Clem and he has been able to summarize the whole reasons why he does share about the ladies on the Instagram blog. <laughs> okay, so being a gospel blogger, Isaac K and he shared some of the challenges. One of the challenges he made mention is at times doing well to help push an artist. Then um, their appreciation to the work that you've done is a no, 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 no. Like there's nothing from it. Yes, what about you? What, what have you to share also? Any challenge? Well, I think we share the same ideas or the same challenges. Um, what we do, besides the fact that we do it sometimes to help our friends, but there's also the financial side which um, they shouldn't forget. Some of us, that's our full-time job. So when we render services, we expect that those services are paid for. I always give this illustration when someone comes to me or approaches me to promote their stuff. I say, imagine you are selling in a provision store and I come to you and I ask for bread and I take it and I do not pay for it. I'm spoiling your business. So it's the same thing when you come to a blogger and ask him to promote your stuff and in a way you do not want to 
meets the financial obligations attached to it. Then there's also another part where a lot of these people, of course, there's the part where the blogger has compassion or empathy or the desire to help you do what you are supposed to, I mean, help promote, uh, promote your work, push your brand and all that. But let's not forget that after a while, it becomes like you are taking advantage of that individual because you, you kind of always want the person to do the same services for you. Okay, because those things, they don't come cheap, all right? Some people take it for granted, but the blogger has built his influence on the social media, has built his blog to a certain level such that now it is recognized. So when he promotes your stuff, he's sharing his influence with, or sharing your brand with the influence he has built. So if, for example, um, let's take it that he has 5,000 followers. Let me just use that small number. He has 5,000 followers and he shares your stuff on his platform. All the people there sees that stuff. The reason why you went to him is because you know and you have recognized that he has some influence in his space. So you want to share in that influence. So he has done that for you. So if you continually, you know that he's expecting some form of appreciation. Either he has spoken directly to you, that is what I charge, or he says, okay, you, I'm doing it for you. I believe that it would be best for such an artist or such an individual to say that, no, this person has done this for me. Let me appreciate him this way. Or let me find out what his charges are for at this point in time. And then pay for his services. See, there's a problem, I don't know, I don't know if it's in Africa that family or friends do not want to pay for services rendered. They always want it for free. But I think that will not help the business grow. That will not help push that person or give him the needed recognition that he needs. Okay. But this thing is not only with those who are young. Even the big artists also sometimes do that. Um, I don't know whether it's that um, it's it's like they feel that whether I do it or not, my program or my music will go. So if you are helping me, it's like I'm rather doing you a favor. But it shouldn't be that way. I believe that no matter what, once you are, you are getting or soliciting the services of a blogger, you should try as much as possible to at least sort out the, uh, the, the, the financial obligations here. Yeah. Always make sure you know the person's rates. And if you would want it as a favor, ask directly. If the person says, no, I can't do it totally for free, but this is the amount I can do, I can give you a discount. Don't see the person as an enemy or the person, when did the person come that the person wants to charge and all that. No, that's the person's work. For some of us, that is where we get our daily bread. So if you want it for free all the time, you affect some of us. And then we have a lot of disgruntled bloggers out there who have a lot of ill feelings against many artists and many people decided not to work with them again. Yeah, I think that is a, a, a chunk of our challenges as bloggers. Sure. Mega Praise 2021 with Jojo Ahin Ministries. Um, any one statement or one word for Mega Praise or one word for Jojo Ahin? Oh, I would say God bless Jojo for being consistent. Even during the corona, he had mega praise when a lot of people uh, were putting their events on hold by God's grace. I think it was relaxed in December, so he was able to have his program. And it was mega. Mega praise has always been mega. And I always call him a praise machine because anytime Jojo is ministering, you can expect that the praise will be amazing. Um, I know that today will be another awesome time and I say that God bless him and God bless his team and God bless all those who are helping and supporting him to have this event because um, it's not easy when you look at the stage setup and everything you know that a lot of money has gone into it so whoever is supporting in cash and in kind to make this event by Jojo Ahine's success God richly bless them yeah God bless you, Papa Claire, for making time. My name is Samson. I'm calling me Eskibich Records. And one of the things that I do behind the scenes, exclusive interview that I do with musicians and one of your, your, your favorite people in the gospel scene, 
uh, Papa Clem, any one word for my audience? Oh, okay. Richard. Everybody follow SK Beats Records. Yes, for the best, for all the hot gossips. Uh, they, uh, the gospel ones, no? They in there, yes. Yeah. Some, of, some of the times, if you exclusive ones, yes, you won't get it anywhere. He has all of them, so Charlie, follow his uh, SK Beats records. And I love his short movies that he has been doing, so check them out. Some of them are hilarious, some of them are, they have interesting lessons that you can learn. So visit, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so that anytime he drops a new one, Charlie, you'll be notified. Yes, that channel is Escapit Films TV. Escapit Films TV. Your social media handles once again. Okay, so my personal handles. C. Uh, let me start with my personal one. Clement Afre on all social media handles. But Twitter is Clement underscore Afre. Clement underscore Afre. Yeah, but all the other ones is Clement Afre together. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. YouTube, yes, and then my business handles are CBC Inc. underscore Hypes and then CBC Ashes, yeah, so on all social media handles. My name is Sam Singh. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. God bless you. Behind my camera, I have two blessed. Two blessed is behind my camera. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello, Bebacho Testimony Aluminium Glass. Me, Medin Ede Philip Aqua. Yenuma ye ye no ye sliding windows, sliding doors, barristers, sand breakers, wardrobes, and kitchen cabinets. Ye ye ni ni nebi. Ye number ay ye zero two seven seven zero one six three zero nine zero two seven seven zero one six three zero nine. Ena ye empty ano si ye zero two four five nine five four six four two zero two four five nine five four six four two. Be our best friend, be a Yabba, near Noah Baby Yaguma, or Tamale, or Wa, or Boko, Accra, be a Bia, or Bia, or Frenia, Yabba, near Noah Baby Yaguma. Testimony Aluminium Ventures. Yeah. Escape is on my.